What's up, anti-Megan squad? Ben here with an urgent update. Buckle up, because the delusional Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made yet another misguided decision that belittles the monarchy. This time, their selfishness has gone too far. As you may have heard, Harry and Meghan have announced that they are changing their ghost children's surnames from Mountbatten Windsor to simply Sussex. Can you believe the audacity? Not only does this brazenly defy royal protocol, it's an utter insult to the legacy of Prince Philip, and this time Princess Anne has finally had enough. She's furious and orders Harry and Meghan to stop humiliating the monarchy. You wanted privacy, so live quietly or you will pay the price dearly. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get going. So, as you've heard, the Sussexes made the asinine decision to change their imaginary children's surname from Mountbatten Windsor to Sussex. Never mind that they've provided zero evidence. These so-called kids exist. The real outrage is discarding Prince Philip's distinguished surname to fuel their brand. It's not just a slight against the Duke of Edinburgh, it's a slap in the face. And Princess Anne will not stand for it. My sources reveal Anne unleashed her fury in a profanity-laced triade against the Sussexes. She called them petulant, greedy brats who keep finding new lows in their quest for attention. Anne pointed out Philip devoted his life to upholding dignity while Harry and Meghan obsess over tabloid headlines. She made it clear they're not welcome to keep dragging the royal reputation through the mud. Anne warned if they keep up these antics, there will be consequences. No more cushy titles. The Sussex Circus has gone on long enough. It's time for Harry and Meghan to shut up or pay the price. You see, friends, this surname stunt was the last straw. Harry claiming to respect Philip and trampling on his dying wish. As a reminder, the surname Mountbatten Windsor was created in 1960 as a compromise between Philip and the Queen. Philip hated that his kids would only have Elizabeth's last name, so combining the names was meant to honour both spouses. This united, respected surname meant everything to Prince Philip. Harry's callous discarding of it is an insult. Even more despicable is Harry and Meghan's motive. They dumped the Mountbatten Windsor purely as a PR ploy to build their Sussex brand. They'd gladly defile a dead man's legacy to grab a few headlines. Enough is enough. Thank God Anne is taking a stand. No more coddling the brats. They wanted privacy? Fine. Go live quietly without the raw ties you can exploit. Otherwise, prepare for fallout. Mark my word, the Sussex's arrogance will be their undoing. The palace sees through their victim games. The public is fed up with hypocrisy. By running their mouths to cling to relevance, Harry and Meghan created their own PR nightmare. The roles must stand strong cut them off financially and banish them. It's the only way to stop the endless torrent of stomach-churning PR stunts. In closing, Princess Anne's anger is justified. Her fury from loyalty to the monarchy and desire to protect its dignity, if only Harry and Meghan understood the meaning of duty and honour. But they are lost causes. We must support Anne in this righteous crusade. Stay vigilant against Sussex sleaze and don't believe their lies. They made their bed, now they can rot in it. No more platform for their victimhood. Thanks for listening, friends. Please like and share the video and spread the truth. The royals will no longer indulge in this. Harry and Meghan wanted attention. Well, now they have it and Anne will make sure they sorely regret it. This is Ben signing off. Peace.